Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video we're making bread pudding. So I'm just gonna take you over the ingredients so we can get started. Okay, you're gonna basically need some eggs. You're just gonna need some vanilla extract, some sugar, some cinnamon which is optional, some heavy cream, some milk, melted butter, and stale bread. It could be bread, croissants, I'm using challah bread which I made in the other video, the last video. And it, it has gotten stale. So I'm using this. This the recipe is gonna be in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by mixing the eggs with the sugar and the cinnamon together and the vanilla extract. It's gonna whisk them all together just really quick to get them all combined. I'm just gonna add in the heavy cream the milk and the melted butter and whisk that all together okay so basically when you finish mixing all of that liquids we're just gonna cut our challah bread or croissants or whatever you're using into one inch cubes just like this just like that I'm using here and you need the stale bread to be actually stale because it will absorb the liquids better so we don't have this runny pudding so that's what we're using here we're just gonna cut our bread into these cubes and we're gonna put all of these cubes inside this pudding and let it absorb for about 30 minutes then I'm just gonna bake it in the oven on 350 degree oven preheated uh, about I'd say one hour and then when it's done I'm just gonna show you the result so I'm just gonna let it absorb now I'm just gonna show you how to put it in the pan and how to make it so I'm just gonna cut cubing all of these and then we'll be back okay I have finished cutting all of my challah bread now this bread was absolutely delicious but it was a big loaf that I didn't need to eat it all so I'm just gonna turn it into a dessert so now all of these cubes I'm just gonna put inside this mixture the liquid you're gonna let it absorb as said for about 30 minutes. Just like that, and let it sit. Okay, here's my bread. I let it absorb for about 20 minutes. Now you can do it like the regular way that everyone does it, but I'm just gonna go like crazy and just gonna put walnuts on top, which is basically everything I'm using here is optional, but I like it this way. So I'm using walnuts like one tablespoon to two tablespoons of brown sugar and a little bit more of cinnamon which is how I like it so I'm just gonna try and just gonna tell the result as well how it turns out so those are totally optional but I like to use it so I'm just gonna put this into the pan put those on top and then I'm just, I'm just gonna show you how it turns out so I have my grease pan over here I'm just gonna take this stir it up just a little bit more I'm just going to put it into the pan. Now I may be stirring some of those walnuts inside it. But the rest will go on top. So just like that. So pour it into your pan. Push it over to the sides. let it fit inside your pan just like this just gonna arrange it a bit more and I'm gonna put this cinnamon on top just like that and the brown sugar and now I'm gonna bake this for about one hour in the oven and they'll preheat it 350 degree oven. I'm just gonna show you the result when it's done. 